There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that anybody, sure didn't feel, didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. And frankly, it's bullshit. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. I haven't Seriously, kept up with my journal as much as I should. I you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And I can't believe I still have this me. pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st Isn't century. But I like it old school. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. She had a brilliant eye. So my little camera bag is battered but still kicking. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Robert Frank. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Shh, shh, shh. 
I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait Sorry, was Max. Done by no Williams. more selfies right now. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. If you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Justin. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Listen, I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Huh, this might make a cool shot. It's 
so cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Was about to. Just you Welcome look. to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Triangle. I feel like you have the best. Because Max wants everybody to see how she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Part of the world around you 
Driving a car by ah, the, the science side. room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. The world from the bright side. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. American girls in the movies. No one can tell where your heart is. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I wish I had. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Dan. So nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I wish October would last forever. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. To all of you, I wonder what actually American happened to her. Girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. Good thing I left my American AK at home. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Watching the world from the bright side. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Yeah. Rachel Amber, she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. To all of you, American girls in the movie. How many students ever actually no memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. American girls like dollies with shiny smiles and there's the lighthouse again. I wish I had. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. American. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. 
You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Wondering why she cries sometimes, talking about her own place. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foot. They do stomp. No one could try her Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. That's when I I wonder what actually happened to her. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. It looks like she's been gone for months. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. These missing persons pictures are popping up everywhere. Bit part of the Nerd world alert, this poster has Warren you. written all over it. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. To all of you, American girls. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now, who would bother to write that crap? This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Where did that butterfly come from? 
It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm Anybody? crazy, I might as well go all the way. Diane Can I actually reverse time? Victoria? Why Arvis? I did it. I actually an did it. Of a photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Not freak yet, out. Arvis. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by Browser. the eyes of those My sad old broken camera. When I took my selfie, She's Jefferson asked me a question. Right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. Times. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? <laughs> Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self 
portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody... What are you waiting for? Go! So, you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. Nice answer, Max. So are you okay? Sure you look pale. Like Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. You had too much stress. I know the feeling. Out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel I have to go. From this Too process, much happening right now. I also want everybody sure. to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera, honey. And everybody oh, should have totally. a chance. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with you. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Who wins? This is just a bump on a bigger road. I, I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on. I also want everybody but I can't. This photographic world is not for Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel! Daniel is getting bullied all over again. I hope he doesn't remember. I know you didn't forget you always catch. You know I don't eat. For making sure no one kicks your ass. What's that got to do with anything? Miss Grant can't help me now. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that ever thing down! Tell me what to do. I'm sorry. Max, so you're sick. going to get I'm hurt. Trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss you. I need your a hammer to break it day. open. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. 
If I can reverse time again, I can help her. What? Looks like Samuel forgot to take the cleaning cart out of here. Me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even... There's the hammer. Now I can break this goddamn glass. Oh, shit! No! More trouble for this than drugs. Nobody... No, he has a gun. I should do something else. Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Away from me, psycho! Get that gun away from me, psycho! Guess would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Guess would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Um, 
female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. <laughs>